sections, but you're free to look up for more. This will help us take for more than seven years. The simply cost of this for it. You did you so we units want to explain the idea of the commerce to other countries. The first one is the real it start on 1950 to 1953. As you know, after the Second World War, Kuwait has taken two countries. The first one is North Korea and the second one is South Korea. North Korea is communist and they want to the, and they want South Korea to be communist as well. But the US did, but the US state is the one that still be support of South Korea. They are making bad things. This is the leader between the war. The first one on the left is Lee Sung Man, the leader of South Korea, and this one is Kim Il Sang, the leader of North Korea. He is the founder of Kim Dynasty and also, also um, the grandpa of President Kim Jong Un. This is the timeline of the Korean War. It starts on June 5, 1915. And two days after that, the U.S. has stayed at Georgia War and followed China. There are many battles in the Cold War, but now I will talk about the three major ones. The first one is Battle of Seoul. On June 25, 1915, all the same reason the war began. This war began with South <coughs> North Korea in which the capital city of South Korea. So, the next battle was the Battle of Bosan. Battle of Bosan on July 5, 1915. This battle is the first meeting between North Korea and the United States. And the last major battle. Battle of Incheon on September 15, 1915. This battle ended just four days. And after this battle ended, the United States put it up from the Korean War because they have been attacked by China troops. This, this war doesn't take too long time, but it kills many lives. There are 5 million people dying during the Korean War. And on July, July 1950, the two nations decided to end the war by signing treaties to end. But after the treaties were signed, Country doesn't still, they still be wanted for us other and doesn't become the matter. And this is the end of the real war. You will know about the Cold War by Katia. So today I'll tell you about the major events in 1960s. So the first one is Bay of Peace. It was between USA and Cuba. And in that time, Cuba has the Cuban communist leader, Fidel Castro. And then USA had a plan to overthrow the Cuban leader. And in the plan was that USA would bomb the Cuban Air Force and then overthrow Fidel Castro. But on the invasion day, in April 17, 1961, it did not go well as Cuba, Cuba had the plane left to attack. So USA had to retreat, but most of you and soldiers were captured and put into prison. And this the map of USA and Cuba only. And then the leader during the day of peace are Fidel Castro. He was the, press, the leader of Cuba from 1976 to 2008. Next is John F. Kennedy. He was the U.S. President from 1961 to 1963 before he was assassinated in Haiti. Next is Space Race. So it was a competition between USA, the Soviet, and the Soviet Union to see, to see who had the best technology it began in 1955 when both countries de declared that they wanted to send satellite into space. So this is the timeline. So in 1957, the Russians placed the first satellite into the orbit. And then four years later, Yuri Gagarin became the first man to be in the space. And then the Soviet Union 
set the first woman in space, the first space walk, the first animal in space, and also put the first space station. But then, in 1969, Neil Armstrong became the first man to walk on the moon. But then, in 1975, the space race ended as the Soviet Union and the USA had a better relationship and, and they had a joint mission. And the next one is arms race. This is also between the United States and the Soviet Union to see who had the best nuclear bomb and missiles. The both countries wanted to, to show up their capabilities. So this is the timeline. So after, at the end of World War II, USA bombed the Japanese atomic bomb. And this made Soviet Union taste their first atomic bombs too. And then in 1950s, both countries are now developed their missiles. And in that time, two friends, Britain, France, and China also had their own nuclear bombs. And in 1970s, there are a treaty regarding the nuclear bombs. And then the arms race came to an end as Soviet Union began to collapse and the, the arms race caused a lot. Important people during arms race are Ronald Reagan, the US president, and Mikhail Gorbachev, the Soviet leader. Gorbachev was the one that ended the Cold War II. As he, uh, he removed troops from Afghanistan, and this end the Afghanistan war. And he also had a treaty with USA, and this end the Cold War. So this is the end of my presentation. But next, Kitchi will tell us about the Vietnam War, the major event in Asia. So thank you. Uh, hello everyone, today I'm going to tell you about one of the most famous wars during the Cold War, it is Vietnam War. So, what is Vietnam War? Vietnam War was a war that fights between the North Vietnam and South Vietnam. North Vietnam was communist and South Vietnam was against communist. It was fight between November 1st of 1955 to April 30th of 1975. And the result of the war is South Vietnam lost the war. So this is a map of Vietnam during that time. In the red color, it is North Vietnam supported by Soviet Union and China. And the yellow one, it is South Vietnam supported by the United States. So it is actually a proxy war between the United States and Soviet Union too. So that's round and before the Vietnam war. So, in Vietnam, France had been took control of Vietnam for a long time, but France was made to speak after the World War II. In that meantime, Ho Chi Minh founded the Viet Minh Communist Party, and Viet Minh and France fight against each other, and Viet Minh won the battle. So, Viet Minh and France signed a January peace that fought to end the battle and allowed Vietnam in the northern part of 17 parallel belong to the Viet Minh and Ho Chi Minh become the president of the Vietnam. So, the beginning of North Vietnam. In South Vietnam, North Vietnam has an anti communist idea and the election is going to be given in South Vietnam. So, USA, know that North Vietnam has an anti communist idea. So, USA support North Vietnam to be elected as a prime minister of South Vietnam. And Lo Dinh Siang became a prime minister of South Vietnam. And then um, North Vietnam began to attack South Vietnam by torpedo, and they attacked the U.S. battleship, so it began to get the war. This man was Ho Chi Minh, the president of North Vietnam, and this man was Lo Dinh Siang, the prime minister of South Vietnam. And one of the most famous battles in the Vietnam War is Guerrilla Warfare. So guerrilla warfare is just a small fighting that they didn't send a big troop or big army to fight against each other. 
and often made a surprise attack on each other. So it was fine between Vietcong and Vietnam. So who is Vietcong? Vietcong was um, South Vietnam people that they like the idea of communism and they joined with North Vietnam. So they fight against their own government. And it was very hard to fight with Vietcong because they often live in a forest or a tunnel that they made it. Um, and they made a surprise attack on the US Army. This is a Vietcong soldier. This one was Vietcong Channel. And one of the most famous things too during the Cold War it is that and Ho Chi Minh Trail. So Ho Chi Minh Trail is a trail that they um, send a supply, weapons and goods to South Vietnam to support some of um, Vietcong soldiers. So Vietnam War comes to an end. But I have to tell you that um, before the Vietnam War comes to an end, they have a treaty between France and the United States because um, the United States lost many money and army during the Vietnam War, so they wanted to stop the war, but the war is still continuing. So it ends with the fall of Saigon, the capital city of South Vietnam. So North Vietnam began the mass attack on South Vietnam on April 29 of 1975, and USA withdrew the army out of South Vietnam in the same day. Then, in April 30 of 1975, Saigon was captured and North Vietnam came to Saigon and South Vietnam surrendered to the North and Saigon was renamed into Ho Chi Minh City in the Vietnam War. So this is the end of my presentation and Shirley will tell us about Berlin Wall. It's Berlin Wall since 1961 to 1989. First, after the World War II, German lost the war, and the country was divided into four parts, which controlled by Poland, France, USA, and Soviet Union. So they want to rebuild Germany, German, and they want people in Germany to think that Hitler and Nazis and but the problem is Soviet Union. In that time, Soviet Union had the same boundaries leader. So if you want to have more power, and we have the idea of communism. So another side, America. That time, America is the country of the trade, and they really hate communism, because communism will make the economy more difficult. So, America had to make the war with a small country that, than they did Soviet country. For example, <coughs> Vietnam and Korea. Okay, conflict conducted the bombing. After the the conflict of Soviet and America, on August 13, 1961, they had to build the wall around the Berlin that controlled that that divides between East Germany and the West Germany. East Germany was controlled by Soviet Union, and West Germany was controlled by America, England, and France. That's communism. So people in the people in the East Germany they live under the rule of Soviet and communism. So they were not happy and they feel like angry with the people in the West Germany. So they kind of pass through the wall because if they pass through the wall, they will be shot by the security guard. The 13 years later, on November 1989, Mr. Mikhail Gorbachev is the leader of the East Germany. In that time, people in the East, they had a lot of peaceful protesting until it, until it was announced they passed through the wall. So the government really wish him a lot of the protesting. So on 
9 November 1989. Dr. Chalosky is the Prime Minister of the Propaganda. We have to announce that people in East Germany can pass through the wall. But let's talk about that it's, it's, it's being misunderstood. So when people do the news, they go to the wall and through the guard have to announce people who pass through the wall without no choice. So people in the West Germany, they come to welcome people in the East Germany. And after the past, it's like a party and yeah. Okay, so if you have to go to the Germany, I will to you to, to visit the world. And this is all of my present presentation. Thank you for thank you for listening. Thank you.